What's up, Reefers? Derek back with another episode. Today we got something really cool. We're actually going to be fragging some corals. Awesome. Super pumped for today's episode. Appreciate you guys tuning in. As always, please hit that subscribe button down below. The more subscribers we have, the more content we can continue to make for you guys. So why am I fragging my coral? I have a Xena. It's not pulsing, just a regular Xena that I got for my birthday back in August and it's taking over my tank. So in an effort to scale it back and preserve the coral, I figured what we'll do is frag them. I've already called my local fish shop, House of Fins Greenwich. Huge plug, great place, check them out. So I hit them up and I said, hey, if I frag some Xenas, will you guys take them for potential credit? We all want a way to get more coral and this is your shortcut to get some. Grow some, frag some, sell it. Awesome, so what do we need to frag some coral? For this project, I'm gonna be using a pair of shears. I have these guys that are spring loaded, so they kind of flick back on their own, which is huge. I have glue, because I'm gonna be gluing the Xenas onto the frags. I like the gel better than liquid, because uh, it's easier to control, and this is for coral, so there's coral safe, which is huge. And then frag plugs. So I got these ceramic plugs off of Amazon. They're huge, they look like cauliflower. That was actually really gross, dude. Anyway, yeah, get these frag plugs, and then you'll probably notice I'm wearing gloves. Most important piece, protective gear. Uh, I got these sweet gloves from my wife. She is a nurse, shout out to nurses. Last thing we need is some protective eye gear. Hello? Um, and then lastly, I got this protective eye gear. Not gonna lie, kinda feel like a badass right now. Cool, so let's get to fragging. So here's the, uh, the Xena. Um, as you can see, it's kind of growing all over my clove polyps, these green guys here. I'm going to try to scale it back a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn off my system. So the next thing we're going to do is piss them off a little bit so they close up so I can see their stems a little bit better. So we're going to go ahead and fill the container up with water real quick so that way I can put the cut pieces into them. This guy right here is a good culprit. He has like this little flap up already because he's taken over the clove polyp. So I'm going to clip right at the base there because it's a nice little colony. The cool thing about the Xenas is that they're very hardy. So you don't really have to worry about hurting them too much. Um, they usually thrive and survive in lots of different conditions. Found a good spot. Perfect. Wow, I got a good chunk there. Okay, cool. So I'm going to take this chunk put them into my bowl. I have a Xena here in the bowl, um, and then I'm gonna put it onto my table and start fragging. Um, I clipped three of them, as you can see here, and they're, they're good cuts because I got them all the way down to the, the base. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. So I'm just gonna take my frag plug, put glue on the base of this, set them, and then leave them in the water to dry a little bit. Okay, so I got one on. I'm just gonna let them sit there for a little bit. There is another method where you take a rubber band and you rubber band it to the rock and let it naturally take. That's fine, but again, these are very hardy corals, so doing it this way is not harmful to it as well. Closer for you guys. You gotta be kidding me. I put them back in the tank. We'll see what that looks like. Got a mess going on here. All right, so they look okay. That guy looks a little concerning, but that's how it looked when I bought it, to be honest. So it takes a little bit for it to recover. So we'll uh, we'll see how it goes over the next couple days. Awesome, well, that was really fun. I'm glad we were able to do that. To be continued, I guess, we're gonna make sure that the frags do take into the tank and that they do open back up and are healthy. Uh, and then next week, I'll be taking them to the LFS, hopefully to get some cash money to buy some more coral. For tuning in today, really appreciate all the support. Again, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to visit me on Instagram, at TankBro. Questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. Again, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys next week. Peace.